Good evening and welcome back once again. Hopefully you joined us in the last video where we had a 2-1 win against Villarreal in the Copa del Rey. The semi-final to get to the final with a showdown against Barcelona. It was a brilliant win, hard fought, we went 1-0 down very early. Nelly went 2 down, Schubert our goalkeeper saved us a couple of times and we fought our way back into the match and eventually were deserved winners. Next match we are away to Granada back in the league. We have pretty much got the league tied up. We want to keep that run going, keep the confidence up until we get to that final. So as you can see we have made some changes. Main ones being that we have dropped Vieira because he's on a downward red. Plus we'll kind of want to give people a bit of a rotation after that hard fought uh, semi-final win. We're porting Harrington on the left in place of Mudrik. And we've also given Kostanu a rest and we've run, brung in Kavazovic. Other than that, pretty much full strength. And here we are, away to uh, Granada today. Let's hope for another three points. Should be a lot easier than the last match against the way out. has been playing well recently actually when we looked at the good first effort was that free kick yes and so well, yeah but Harrington when we looked at the, the stats for the month of March he was actually up there in terms of his goals um, what's that? Okay. The referee's uh, but we're still happy at the moment. But obviously, we'll want to rotate the. What was that? What was that? That's not who I was trying to pass to. Anyway, anyway <laughs> let's start again. Um, want to rotate the players after that hard fought win. And you know, some of these players deserve it. See 1-0, first chance for ourselves and we'll start it away. Sixty was our top scorer in March as well. No surprise with that. Here we got taken out there. Arcas with the ball through and it's a simple finish from Xerxes. Arcas playing is probably his preferred preferred position. Today, as attacking the fielder in place of Vieira, so I thought about even putting Bouchard on, but I think Arcus has deserved it, and Bouchard has been playing quite a bit as well. No doubt he'll come on in the second half at some stage. Good ball. What a save from Schubert. What a goalkeeper he's turned out to be. I said it in the last match, but he kept us in the game in the last match. Save us from going 2 0 down. Had another save as well in the match. Top draw. And he's only going to get better. He's still very young. He took me away. There's no one there to uh, get the ball. Go tackle. Chance for a counter now. That's not really going to support though. Well held up by Zerg here. That's all he could do. And Houghton just got that's got to be a yellow. Got absolutely taken out there. That's well deserved yellow. I think sometimes the yellows are a little bit harsh in this game, but uh, no doubt about that one. Nowhere near the ball. Yeah, that's not who I was trying to pass to, but... Oh, a nice little flick there. Perez! Oh, the inside of the post! And Zerg's he cheekily chips it in. A lovely little flick from Arcas, I believe it was. Yeah, look at that. And there, uh, Perez. Oh, so close there. That would have been a beautiful goal. A nice little finish there.
Can I just drift it in? Good header there. Oh, and there's plenty of space behind here. Nice ball to Xerxes. Oh, he got taken out, did he? Oh, the keeper could be in danger here. That could be a red. It's not going to be a card. Absolutely caught him. He was through on goal. Wow, okay. So let's take a. Anyone that really decent, but come on, Perez. Oh, comfortable save, went the right way. Can't even remember the last time I had a penalty. Good tap off from McDowell there. Sexy just couldn't quite get above a defender. But Dowell, the right back, he's turned out to be a real, real find from the youth squad. Nice clearance there. Yeah, I forgot what the right back that we had, that we sold. Um, he was just one of the, the default players that we got when we started the Master League and um, got a bit in for him, so we decided to sell him. Now, it's about defending. Got lucky there, he slipped as he was taking the shot. Yeah, it's just been a, a big fight. I mean, Tetchero got, I think, at the very start, the left back, and he's been great. But McDowell's came in and he's, um, he's made some decent chances on that right hand side. A few assists. Ah, Zix, he was just dropping short there just as he passed it through. Good tackle from Arcas. Lovely ball to Zixi. On oh, a sweet finish. Comfortable finish there from Zixi. That's his hat trick. 31 minute hat trick. Great tackle from Morgas there, hard working and it just perfectly weighted through ball. Sticks, he's certainly getting better at finishing, very assured. Put the weight on that ball. And that's why Arcus's best position is that attacking the through the ball. You just he can put through some great passes, he's not bad at getting on the end of things as well. He scores a few goals when he used to play up top for us. That's Herrera, haven't seen much of him so far. That's a foul. But I think it's back where Herrera was, he got taken out. Dummy the square next doesn't often work. When it does it's great, but the success rate of it's uh pretty low. Ooh. Nearly an unlucky deflection the port to keep her out. Approaching half time, as you'd expect, we've absolutely dominated. The contrast between this and the semi-final is unbelievable. That first uh hang on. Just on side. And nowadays it's four. And Perez does get his goal well deserved. He was unlucky before when he hit the post for the second goal, I think it was. I 
thought you might have been offside. Must have just been on there. It looked like a shoulder was in front of the defenders. Look to side on view with the lines there. Beautiful finish though. Play at the whistle. But yeah, the first sort of 20 minutes of that match in Spirit of Real was a bit of a shock to the system. You know, you, you do have some difficult games in Division 2, don't get me wrong, but the level of quality, step up, the pace, the power, uh, the reaction times are just unbelievable when you play in that top, not even just the Division 1 team, a top Division 1 team. Um, did he get fouled? He did. I thought he did. I haven't really got any decent free kick takers, I don't think. Fuck, this isn't bad. Waiting for this small guy. We've got a small guy in the middle. Oh, nearly. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Oh, Perez with the acrobatic. That's the to come over. Actually, that's all right. Just over. Good effort there. Should be half time, I think. And it is. Brilliant first half. And as you can see, possession wise, around about the 60% mark. Main thing is, though, just knocking the ball in the back of the net. And um, I'm actually recording this on the 24th of February. This probably won't come out till. I think this episode will be about the 6th or 7th of March. So you can see how ahead I am in recording and actually putting the video out. I've actually been, I mentioned this in one of the previous videos, um, for a bit of a break from recording and that means obviously I haven't played this game because I only play this game when I'm recording. Um, played the other game, playing a tiny bit of Hitman, been playing a bit of some smaller games like on Steam and, and uh, things like that. But Did a live stream for everybody's golf, which is really fun. Did that on Twitch. I'm going to be doing a lot more of that and then uploading the VODs on here. I'm actually, um, speaking as of now, I'm about to do a live stream tonight of Returnal, which I've just bought on sale. Haven't played it yet at all, so my first um, go at the game is going to be live on Twitch. So by the time you see this, obviously that will already be gone out, but the the VODs are going on here every time I do a live stream. I'm looking forward to that side. It means I do like the daily videos and the editing and all that, but it means that I can do have a bit more interaction with people, a bit more relaxed, no editing, put the VODs up. I'm not sure about the VODs actually, um, like what's the best way of doing them because I just put the Everybody's Golf on, which was just short of three hours, just, just as a Put it straight on YouTube. Did like the thumbnails and the tags and everything, but didn't do any editing. But in the future, I might split some of them out into smaller videos. But I'm not sure. But still, there's not much editing to do. So I like that aspect of it. You know, saving a bit of time. There is what a finish that was. Just as I was waffling away, chatting away to myself, and uh, <laughs> pull that out of the bag. Nice work for Mark Gass again. So you can see he didn't have any room, so he pulled the back and Perez with just one of those typical curling finishes of his, his trademark. What a find he's been. Absolutely brilliant there on that right hand side. I think we'll make some subs as well. So we're going to give our Gass a rest, bring on Castledine, Zirxi, we're going to take off for Bouget, and we're going to do what we traditionally do and stick Carlos Perez up top, Pierre on the right, and we're going to take the tech share off just for a bit of a rest as well.
Yeah, but these switch ups where I uh, changed Paris from the right to up top for the last sort of 25 30 minutes has been very successful. He's very good up top. It's certainly his best position is that wide right position, but especially the, the chemistry that him and Zerxy have. But then when Bajer comes on, they've got a really good chemistry as well. Bajer on that right hand side, and there's another yellow. That's a few fouls today. Yeah, but we've got a good thing going with um, like I say Perez up top. Now in the future, we do really need an out and out striker as either an upgrade for Xerxes or a youngster that will be second choice to Xerxes that could play in some of the lesser matches or just come on as a sub. Because um, we do need to build the squad up a little bit. And there's Perez. Oh, I'm sure it's not that way. Did well, but finish didn't quite work. Nice header from Pereira. Nice work from McDowell with that uh, defender steaming in. And here he is again. Is that not a foul? Sorry about the noise there. You heard that there's uh, someone wrecking up the, the car right outside. Here's Herrera. Terrible tackle. I think he's injured. God's sake. That's should get a yellow card for that. I'm assuming the referee even saw that as a as a foul. I'm assuming he just played on. Oh, that isn't an injury. He seems to be moving okay now. I wouldn't be surprised though at the end of the match to get a, a warning that he's been injured. Oh, Herrera, beautiful. Ah, can't get the catch. Nicely back out wide to Caulfield. Of course, remember he's, right, he's a right footed left back. He can play on both sides. Not white to McDowell. That's a bit of a poor ball. Nice to play. Now Herrera. Doesn't venture forward that much. Oh, that's a poor pass. I, mean, I wouldn't say Herrera is an out and out defensive player by any means, but he certainly is a type of player that just lets the others do all the attack and work. Play some nice passes, but he doesn't normally venture into the box or anything like that, traditionally. Just didn't find anyone there. Bajer, nice ball out wide. Now Bajer again, just going into trouble. Good defender from Caulfield. Now it is full time. 5 0 winners, hat trick for ZXC. And the way they're celebrating, that must be the official confirmation that we've now won the league. Brilliant stuff. I think it's been known for a while that we were runaway winners. How about that though? Two matches running. One we get into the final of the cup and the next match we tie up the league. Brilliant stuff. And as you can see from the stats, again, we actually increased that possession a little bit from half time. Pretty much the usual stats that we see, you know, 65% possession, shots on and off target way more than the opposition. Our passes are normally around about the 120 to 140 mark. Yeah, just brilliant stuff. And wow, look at the ratings. Xerxes getting a 9. Do not see that very often. Even with 4 or 5 goals, sometimes you don't see that for a player. But yeah, when he got a 4.5, that's a bit harsh. He didn't do anything wrong.
And Umwachi getting a 4.5 again. He didn't really do anything wrong. He just wasn't involved in the game too much. But I think a 4.5 is a bit, uh, a bit on the low end. There we go. Officially, we are champions. Absolutely brilliant. 5-0 win. Hopefully, you can join us next time where we are at home to Real Zalagoza. Please leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Drop a comment down below. And subscribe if you want to keep up to date with the channel. But just really appreciate you guys giving these a watch. Thank you for for keeping up the views i really enjoy obviously just playing and recording i do it for myself but i do like the interaction with you guys and you know getting a few views is brilliant so let's hope we keep going for a long time there'll definitely be some different sort of games up and coming pez is still going to be my main focus just with the order of the game dotted in along with the live streams but yeah once again thank you very much and i'll see you all soon cheers